Morning, folks. Welcome to an OCC Queensland Daily Weather App today, the 25th of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, townsvilleshed.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. All right, we've got a weak circulation, a few hundred kilometres to the northeast of Cairns. Uh, that circulation is gradually shifting eastwards over the next couple of days. It will gradually deepen as it pushes east into the eastern Coral Sea and interacts with another circulation near Vanuatu. Both of those circulations are not expected to come anywhere near Queensland and will not affect Queensland in a direct way. Indirectly, what they do is they increase the southeasterly wind flow to the south, and we also see a little bit of squeezing in that southeasterly wind flow to the south, which is enhancing rainfall around the northeast tropical coast. And we all know how well the northeast tropical coast does in that type of scenario, case in point. Uh, the 24 hour rainfall totals till 9 o'clock this morning. We can see totals in the 150 to 200 range around Innisfail and up towards Babinda. Babinda the boulders just nudging the 200 mark. You can also see the Daintree does quite well in this type of setup with Diamond 135 millimetres and Daintree Village 63. Outside of that, we've had quite a few showers around the southeast Queensland coastline and we've had some showers and thunderstorms quite widespread across Cape York Peninsula. We can see that broad low pressure area, a few hundred k's to the northeast of Cairns. That system is going to move slowly towards the east southeast. Won't be deepening too much today. It might start to deepen tomorrow or Monday as it pushes further and further away to the east. You can see it's very difficult to find a centre of circulation. It's a pretty complicated little setup here because it isn't very strong and it's fairly oval shaped or elongated. What we can see if you've been paying attention is southeasterly winds to the south of that system. Quite, quite. Uh, quite strong at 15 to 20 knots across most of central and northern Queensland. You'll also notice that as we progress into tomorrow, you'll see decreasing winds across southeast Queensland, but the southeasterly wind flow is maintained across northeast and central east Queensland. Uh, up here in the Cape York Peninsula region, northwesterly winds associated with the monsoon, but what's interesting is that those northwesterly winds curve and become northeasterlies, driving some moisture into the Gulf Country and the uh, southern parts of the Gulf of Carpentaria. Quite clearly, there's a monsoon trough that uh, links these two systems up or this area of rotation here with this area of rotation here and that monsoon trough goes through Cohen. So looking at today's where the rainfall is expected to fall, uh, we can see around northeast Queensland, that appears to be our peak area of rainfall today around the coast and just offshore off the coastline. And then as we go through into the afternoon, you can see some isolated storm and shower and scattered shower activity developing across the Gulf Country, parts of the uh, Cape and especially northern parts of the Cape where the monsoon flow is fully established. As we go into this evening and tonight, you can see most of the shower activity once again just offshore off northeast Queensland. But I'm sure, as I mentioned yesterday, that there will be a substantial amount that will be coming onto the coast in these more favoured areas around, say, places like Babinda, uh, around the Daintree and those sort of areas. Uh, as we go into tomorrow, you can see tomorrow morning widespread convective activity across the Gulf of Carpentaria, which might also be a nudging the Gulf coastline as well. Outside of that, folks, uh, outside of North Queensland, far North Queensland in particular, there's not too much going on for the rest of the state, just some isolated convective showers in the afternoon on the eastern escarpments and the east coast regions, uh, nothing much that's going to fill a tank anywhere in those. Just enough to create a nuisance for a couple of minutes if you get under it. And rainfall between now and Sunday morning, we can see that there is going to be a bit of shower activity in southeast, central east, and uh, lots of shower activity in northeast Queensland between now and tomorrow morning. Uh, and we see some isolated inland shower activity in the afternoons, as well as some isolated shower activity across in central west and northwestern parts of Queensland. The other areas of interest, of course, are going to be the Gulf Coast line as we start to curve that flow back into the coast. And we're going to see showers and thunderstorms quite widespread particularly around the northwest coast of the Cape and through the Torres Strait. So that's where the weather's going to be over the next 24 hours. For more details on any of that and to look further ahead head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video.